going to explain two different scenarios here. So let's start with the first scenario. So in the first scenario, what we have, the regression one, we have a feature, okay? And here in the y-axis, what do we have? We have the output. Uh, score the output, well, you know, uh, score here y, for example. So this basically belongs, the feature is one dimensional uh, point. So for example, as I explained, you have a one dimensional data set, okay? So which means each sample here, x belongs to r, it has a single feature that it represents a single value, okay? Now, once we have a model like this, it means that what we are actually, what we're trying to do is we are trying to model the relationship between two axes, okay? We are trying to figure out the relationship between the feature, which is the input space or input data, okay? And the, uh, the Y, the score that we want to predict, which is actually the output space. Okay, so this is the output space. So in this example, if I'm trying to fit an F model to this uh, data, so this F basically maps every single point here, X to its output Y. So we have Y is equal F of X. So this F is uh, enables us to model the relationship between the input space and the output space. So this is what we call regression. And when visualizing regression, what you guys have, you have here the input space, okay? And the X axis, for example, and the output variable that we want to predict in the Y axis. And we're gonna see many examples throughout this course, different types of regression models, mathematically and visually. But this is the main concept, okay? Now, let's move to the second story. In the second story, uh, what do we have? We have feature one and we have, for example, feature two, okay? So this is a two-dimensional point and we have something like this. Okay, so if it was unsupervised, we will see something like, sorry, okay. If it was something unsupervised, we will just cluster. So we will group together, okay? But what we did in the figure, we actually drew a line. And this is the model that we have learned, the classification model, the classification line that separates these two classes, okay? So what do you guys know this? We know this, that the x-axis is actually belongs to what, which space, input or output? Input. The y-axis also belongs to the input space. So what we're trying to look at here is the relationship, the two features that we have extracted. We Remember the dogs and the cats, guys? We extracted two features, right? So we're trying to extract features in such a way that we can maximize the difference between these two classes, the margin between these two classes, okay? So now, where is the label in this case? We know that for classification, <clears throat> Uh, we partition the space into two big uh, chunks here because we have two subspaces here. We have two classes, okay? So let's say this guy right here, the blue space. So every point that is located above this point, above this line, this separate classification line will be labeled as blue. And any point that is located below this line will be labeled as red, okay? So during the training stage, what we're doing, we're, we're taking the training samples. So this, these are my training samples, all of those guys, okay? Using the training samples and their corresponding labels because we need, you know, X train, we use F X train and Y train, okay? And then what do we get? We get the model F, okay? Let's call it F hat, for example, that we estimated. And once we have a new testing samples, we just put them right here. So I'm gonna put them so we have new testing samples coming in. I don't know their labels, okay? I know their features. So what I should do is apply this test, test this model, F hat, I tested on the X, you know, basically test, which are these guys, and then I can predict the label. So here, visually speaking, graphically speaking, you can see these guys will be labeled as blue, maybe plus one, and these guys are, red, negative one. Now, what do we notice here? Here, the label is actually the output, the x-axis for the regression. 
For classification, the label, where is the label? Is the color of the space. Color of the space. It's the location of the point. We know that the point, if the point is here and it's above the line, uh, we can figure it, we can know what is its label, okay? Blue or red. So it's the coloring of the space, okay? Based on the separation line or the classification line that we have learned. So this is conceptually speaking, the principles uh, into how we use these two figures. And then we're gonna see more examples throughout this course, okay?